Well, good morning. I realize lately I haven't done any strange things, so I came across this. This isn't uh, too far away uh, from where I live, so um, I thought I would uh, stop and and do a video about it. Um, it's called uh, Pigeon Roost. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, we'll start with the the crappy little sign that uh, is put up for it. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I don't know if you can see it or not. The sun's kind of right on me. Um, what it is is um, there was a settlement here in 1809. Uh, it was attacked by Indians in September. Uh, 1812 and 15 children um, were uh, murdered and nine adults and one family escaped to um, uh, tell others about it so which is kind of uh, I'm like where were all the adults at or uh, excuse me not adults uh, men it's kind of strange. I don't know if they were off doing something, but fighting somewhere, but it's kind of strange. So there's just, just kind of some strange monuments here. Let's see, zoom in on this. I'll let you read it. Looks like some quotes. And then we got the people who lost their lives. One un one unborn. Huh. Oh, okay, this is something this is kinda interesting. And there's another little inscription. Huh. That's just some kind of like seating thing. Just kind of interesting. And you got a wooded, you know, tree and some overgrown thing. <laughs> wrapped in an iron fence okay all right and this is what's kind of odd to me you got let's look at the plaque first it's the massacre it says massacre september 3rd 1812 well yeah that's fine it's a giant monolith what in the world does a monolith have to do with i mean that's like like sun god stuff. That's just strange. And some sign. Clo park closes at dark. Oh, that's just kind of strange to have a monolith. Whew. Sorry about that. You guys probably didn't realize, but my batteries just went from full to dead. And I had to redo my batteries. Uh, that has not happened before. So that um, will fit in the category of strange. So anyway, we'll chalk that up to strange. Okay. Anyway. You got some kind of inscription here, and then you've got it looks like the Indiana State emblem. Gosh, I can't even read it, it's really weathered. And there's all the something. Third general 
something assembly of Indiana it might just be a something 1903 it might be some kind of marking for when it was put here maybe Durban I don't know I mean it's pretty old I mean it's just to me it's just strange to have a a monolith gosh there's something on the other side too trustees let's see if I can zoom in for you guys not that you're really gonna get much better than what I can see but trustees James something or other it just talks about different people's names huh it's just weird huh. and you got a little I don't know if this is real if this was just something that they I have a feeling this was just made you know have been donated by yeah they just made it to look like it I guess you can come out here and have picnics where a bunch of people were slaughtered there's a cemetery not too far from here too like if you can see it right over there that's just a normal old cemetery um, and we got a couple headstones I think those are just ones that were here too I don't necessarily want to have to film that so anyway just thought I'd come and I've been here before but yeah zoom out here it's just kind of odd look at this one more time since I'm kind of further away a monolith that's just strange I don't know anyway just thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, you're welcome to post your comments and you know, you know tell me what you think about it because it's just kind of strange uh, but it's you know it's something interesting um, just I don't see how the two things kind of fit together, but yeah, anyway, fits in the strange category, so there you have it. All right, guys, take care, take care of each other, and um, keep being strange. See you on the next one.